family how y'all doing so fam it is officially summertime i think yesterday is officially the first day of summer even though it's always summer in florida it's just that when summer actually really comes it feels more like hell in florida um well, at least that's what they say hell feels like, but that's a whole nother subject. We don't we don't really know about that. So fam, well first, look what I, I came and sat down next to. I think this came from Cranes, my friends. They left me a little gift. Two feathers. So fam, today I wanted to make a video to, um, kind of like a high vibing video, something just, you know, to feel good. You know, as we all continue to grow and evolve, we have moments where we're sick of this shit. And then we have moments where we feel like a badass. Like we uh, we see how much we've grown. And so in this video, I wanna share five signs that you are becoming a spiritual badass, okay? Let's start with number one. So number one is being vulnerable. Right now, I remember one time when I was talking about being vulnerable, I had somebody comment and they were like, uh, you know, um, sometimes you shouldn't be vulnerable because people will take advantage of you or try to take advantage of you emotionally when you're vulnerable. And, and true, unfortunately, there are people who will try, keyword try, to take advantage of you um, emotionally because of you being vulnerable. You know, at the same time, that has a lot to do with us paying attention, um, spotting certain types of behaviors, and even standing up for ourselves and calling people out on certain things. Um, being vulnerable, I do realize that there are people that I've run into in life that actually looked at my vulnerability as a sign of weakness or they thought maybe that they could take advantage of me or maybe even control me because of me being vulnerable. So yes, yes, it's out there, but we should not decide not to be vulnerable because of other people because that being vulnerable does help other people. So um, the key is to kind of like protect ourselves and pay attention to behaviors and the signs that we get from certain people and trusting our intuition so that we aren't taken advantage of or people aren't able to um, take advantage of us on an emotional level because of us being vulnerable. So being vulnerable is courage, it's strength, it's bravery. There's nothing weak about it. And, um, that's something that we have to continue to do and actually learn how to do it, when to do it. Um, and, and not so much as when to do it, but how to protect ourselves by spotting certain behaviors in people and um, calling certain behaviors out. Stand up for yourself. But being vulnerable, that's number one as far as one of the things that helps you to become a spiritual badass. Number two, fill your own cup before trying to fill someone else's or help them fill their own cup. You know, um, I realized that if I had spent more time, especially in relationship sense, if I, if I would have spent more time filling my own cup, I could have avoided a lot of pain a lot of issues. If I had been focused on filling my own cup, there's a lot of people that I would have avoided. But I don't know if it's the ego where we just want to be a savior and we kind of want, it's like helps us to feel good about ourselves if we can help someone and lift them up. Um, the true way that I realize that we help people, I feel like I've helped more people by actually filling my own cup 
because it inspires people to do the same. But all of this, you trying to do the work for them and convince people that they're worthy, the, the true work can only be done by the individual. I've, I've said this a million times, but um, I learned that I caused myself a lot of drama, a lot of issues by focusing so much on trying to heal someone than focusing on my, my own healing, filling my own cup. So self-love, fam, I'm pretty sure y'all know that. Self-love, that is how you become a spiritual badass. We sometimes, because we like to help people, we feel like if we focus on just our growth, that it's being selfish, uh, you know, that we should be trying to help people. But like I said, the true work can only be done by the individual themselves. So the best thing for you to do is shine your light, be you, and allow people to be inspired. I think I've helped more people that way than actually trying to be in someone's life and convince them that they are worthy of love, that they are like, it doesn't work fam. I've done it a few times, take my word for it, okay? Okay, number three, being transparent. So being transparent, it allows you to take a hard look at everything there is about you, everything that you are. And it also helps you to not be ashamed of everything that you are. Just like with being vulnerable, like when you're vulnerable, it gives people the, um, you know, people who are, you know, low vibing, it gives them the, the, the chance to take advantage of you in a emotional way and then with being transparent it opens you up to uh, judgment of others but it actually helps you to let go and being transparent doesn't just help you it helps the people around you like me being transparent on this channel that's the reason that I have so many people that come here and share such intimate things about the things they've been through and it actually helps them to heal, to open up and to connect with other people who've actually been through some of the same things. So it's very healing to actually be transparent, to be open and to let go and to not be ashamed of everything that you are, not be ashamed of the things that you've done and, and the things that you may not have been proud of at some point in time, but you know that it's who you are and you're not ashamed of it. So how could someone really judge you on being transparent? That will say more about them than it'll say about you. When someone decides to look at your moment of transparency as an opportunity to take that information and use it to harm you, use it to judge you. That moves us right into number four. Stop being afraid of judgment from others. Don't fear judgment from others. You know, um, I've noticed so much <laughs> about this, the way people judge others, and it is so disturbing to me. There are people out here that... Not only do they judge others, they really like, they say some vile things about people that they don't even know. They don't even know these people. The person didn't do nothing to them, but they are just like, they will bash them and say the most like hurtful, like just things that's just so unnecessary. And I used to look at them and just be like, you are just pathetic. But now I'm like, you know what? They're not even the problem. Now, here I am. I'm judging now. They're not the problem. It's all of the people that support that shit. That's the problem. Because if people weren't cheering other people on for bashing people, then they wouldn't be doing it, right? Because nobody would be supporting it. So it's the people, you know? It, it's it, you, you. 
What we focus on grows, so I try my best not to focus on those things, but I, I, I recognize it. And me personally, I can be very blunt, you know, but intention is everything. Intention is everything. And when your intention is to actually just put people down, what does that bring back to you? You know, so this channel, prime example of me being afraid of judgment, which is one of the reasons that I really hesitated about not, well, I didn't want to make this channel, didn't want to do it. And then when I started making the videos, I realized how it helped me to heal by doing it. And I realized how it started having a mind of its own and, you know, growing and attracting all of these, all of y'all beautiful asses. Yes. And it's just, it's quite amazing to me how letting go of that fear of judgment and just doing it anyway brought something so beautiful this channel is way bigger than me so all of this like i was like i don't want to share this and i don't want to share it wasn't even about me it's way bigger than me and and you all have shown me that that is bigger than me you know fam uh when i was trying to fit in i was being judged so what the hell am i trying to fit in for right like what's the point you might as well be you because you're going to be judged either way. And that's one thing that we don't need to be worried about is other people's judgment. When we learn that when people sit around judging that it says everything about them instead of something about you, then you, it starts to feel more comfortable um, just being you and not fearing judgment. So don't fear judgment from others. That's one thing that we have to let go of, worrying about what other people say and how other people are gonna judge us. And that's something that this channel has helped me to do. You know, coming from my generation, um, there's a lot of that, uh, you know, things that we, we're judged for and we're just afraid of standing out and not being ourselves that's my generation many of you like y'all are so much more brave you know and you're gonna do great things for the generations under you but fear of judgment that's one thing that will help you to um, become a spiritual badass when you let go of that fear of judgment they just another human who gives a shit? For real. Who gives a shit? And number five, practice spiritual confidence. And that comes from inner peace. That's where that comes from. You know, I'm, I'm learning that a lot of the confidence that I have gained along this journey comes from me understanding and accepting that there's a lot about life that I'm not going to know. And some things are just not meant to know. When we kind of like learn to like let go of the ego, then we can understand and learn that it's not about knowing everything or being in, con in control. That is the ego right there. Um, many of us, because we're empathic, we're actually going to feel more about life than we actually know about life. Life is a mystery, so it's not meant for us to know everything. And when we can actually let go of that, then we find inner peace. So practicing spiritual confidence, that's how you become a spiritual badass, connecting with beautiful people because you all have helped me to feel more comfortable in being myself, sharing my truth, and many of you are doing the same thing. I mean, I don't know a lot of places where, well, I, at least I haven't seen on other channels. I haven't seen, I've seen people leave information, say things about their life, but they do it a lot here. And I know that has a lot to do with me, being open and sharing things, being vulnerable, being transparent, and 
It's been a beautiful journey. Now here comes the cicadas. There they go. They they just can't. They just got to be a part of the video every time. Well, fam, that's it for this video. Just wanted to make something quick. Um, sometimes I feel like even when I don't really have much to say and much to share because I'm just living, um, I feel that maybe I should just get out here and just talk, you know, and just share, you know, thoughts and ideas and things like that. So fam, that's it for this video. I want to thank you all for join, joining me, for being here, for sharing all that you share with me and with each other. We're truly helping each other. I appreciate you all, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace and blessings.